When you meet with your family for the holidays, you may want to use a humidifier and crack open a window. A team of UNM professors have been studying how COVID spreads in lungs. And they also looked at if New Mexico's dry climate impacts the spread. How the virus is moving every, you know, every minute in time, how much growth is there, how uh, likely is any cell to be infected, how far does that infection spread within your lung, and then on the other side, how, what is the T-cell response? Since the beginning of the pandemic, a team from UNM, ASU, and Berkeley Lab have been building computer models to understand how COVID spreads through the lungs. Your lung is enormous in, in surface area. It's about half of a tennis court. If you were to take all of that branching airways and spread it out flat. Melanie Moses is a professor of computer science and biology at UNM. So you can kind of think of this like a prairie fire. And right? if you have lots of spots that are on fire at the same time, they're all growing all at once. You can build up a lot of virus, a lot of lung damage, um, and a lot of ability then to spread to someone else. She says that's why we need to control how much virus we have in our lungs. An important component of controlling spread is to get the virus out of the air. And uh, that means, you know, open windows, so you have fresh air coming in. And in New Mexico, a humidifier could help, pointing out New Mexico's recent outbreak happened at the same time of places that were much colder. This airborne virus, the ability of the virus to hang in the air a long time depends on how cold it is and how dry it is. So we're not super cold, but we are super dry. And, uh, you know, this outbreak that we are undergoing right now really took off in October when we all turned off our small coolers, right, that we're making the air more damp and also bringing in fresh air. And we turned on our heaters um, that really dry out the air. Moses adds the study reinforces the importance of four main ways to get the pandemic under control. Vaccinate and boost, wear masks, clean the air and use at home COVID tests. And the team's paper on their study has been accepted for publication and should come out soon.